I'm Eric Schwartz, and this is The Mighty Meeple. In today's video, we're going to do a quick unboxing of Bob Ross, The Art of Chill Game, a two to four player game by Big G Creative. We're also, at the end of the video, going to take a quick look at this Funko Pop of Bob Ross. Uh, this particular version is an exclusive made by uh, Big G Creative, and uh, it just has some neat features, and we're going to take a look at it at the end. As I said, this is a quick unboxing. If you want something more detailed, click this link right up here, and it'll take you to my other video where we do a detailed look at the contents of this box. Otherwise, let's go to the table and see what's inside. Okay, to start off with, uh, you got the instruction manual here. It is a um, pretty succinct, um, it seems like it's well organized. I'll, I'll dive more into this, but it's, uh, it's set up really easy to follow. Um, you know, number, numbered out, uh, the order of your turn and how things would go, good examples. Um, it's just a seven page instruction manual and uh, even a quick reference on the back. Um, so that's, uh, it seems like right off the bat, the instruction manual is well, well, well designed and uh, easy to follow. All right, so uh, let's look at the game board. This is the main game board that you uh, keep track of your chill and the turns and everything with a um, colored markers for each of the four different play possible players. So. Uh, this, these, as well as these little turn markers, are made from nice, uh, thick cardboard stock. Um, so it's uh, nice, nice and durable. And these popped out of the uh, the punch board very easily. All right, and we have the player boards, which are little uh, pallets. Um, they're all the same. They have a slot. Uh, two slots for three cards on each um, uh, areas. And we also have uh, player cubes of the corresponding color. These are, um, there we go, little wooden cubes um, of uh, the four different colors. All right, get that out of the way. All right, let's look at the cards real quick. We have three different types of cards and they are differentiated uh, by color. Um, so you got the three different colors. You also got three different sizes. So if you notice here, um, these are a little bit bigger and these here are even a little bit bigger than, than those, so. Um, but you have your technique cards, your chill cards, and your art supply cards. Uh, your technique cards are going to have things like uh, different paint supplies, um, different types of brushes and stuff. Uh, your chill cards have, um, are going to have different uh, turn actions that could happen uh, on the game board. All right. And then your art supply cards have a combination of a paint and uh, a type of brush that can be that can be used. Right, and just the various various combinations of colors and and brushes. Uh, these all have I don't know if you can really see it. This is something I want to point out. It has a nice textured finish on both sides, um, which I can already tell this is going to be, I, I've tried it out. It's going to make it really easy for shuffling and dealing the cards. So I really like that good quality um, finish on those cards. All right, let's get these out of the way. All right, now we have the uh, painted painting panels. Um, these are all double-sided, and these are just various paintings that came from the Joy of Painting uh, show with Bob Ross, um, because, of course, we're doing Bob Ross paintings. And so you have 15, 15 of these cards. Um, they're all double-sided, which means you have 30, 30 paintings. Um, and they actually, if you want, there's this nice little easel 
that you can set on the table. And these cards can go on them. If all the players can see by putting it on the easel, you can you can use it. If not, to set the card on the table. Um, but if you do use the easel, it's nice to know that uh, there's a nice wide lip right here so that um, as you keep track of, of the, how far we are getting along on the painting, there's plenty of room for this Bob Ross marker. So being that I brought up the Bob Ross marker, let's go ahead and look at that. All right, nice uh, wooden marker printed, printed on there. Um, if you notice, I'm scratching it there. It's not, not scratching off or anything. So good quality printing on that marker. And uh, while I got it zoomed in, let's go ahead and look at the dice. So it's a, a, a dice custom made for this game. So it's not your standard, uh, you know, one to six D6 dice, but it's um, got a custom printing with it. And again, it's uh, not a sticker. It's uh, printed on there. It's um, printed on there pretty well. So I'm, I'm sitting there scratching it with my nail and I'm not having any problems with it. So good quality dice. So that is all the contents of the game. Instruction manual, sorry that was blurry there. Got out of focus. There you go, all the contents. All right, and finally, as I promised, take a look at this Funko Pop really quick. Oh, Bob Ross. This is a uh, Big Dream uh, Creative exclusive item that uh, they created as a promotional. What makes it exclusive is this one is flocked, so he has fuzzy hair and a fuzzy beard, uh, which is a iconic look of Bob Ross, right? Is that nice big afro. Um, so you can get these uh, exclusively at Target or Target.com. Um, let's see. Let's get it close up here. Can we get focus in? Yeah, so I don't know if you can pick up just that fuzzy uh, flocked texture of his beard and his nice, uh, beautiful Bob Ross afro. Um, he also has his palette and looks like a two inch brush. So if, um, if you like these Funko Pops, um, you can also get an unflocked version uh, on Amazon, so that's much cheaper. But uh, this is kind of a pretty cool item um, that you can get. This is actually, this one's going to be going to my niece for her birthday because she absolutely loves Bob Ross. And that's what's inside a box of Bob Ross, The Art of Chill. I hope you had a fun time joining me as we dove in to see what's inside this game, um, everything that you get with it, as well as taking a look at this uh, Funko Pop with the uh, fuzzy hair. Now, if you'd like a copy of this game or or this Funko, um, you, the best place for you to get this is at your local Target or Target.com. I'll leave a link down in the description how you can get this online. That's going to be the cheapest place because this is a Target exclusive. You can get it elsewhere, but you're going to be paying more money. Um, now. If you'd like an all plastic version of these of this, uh, it probably will be a little bit cheaper. Um, you can also get that at Amazon. I'll leave a link to that in the description as well. Uh, if you have any comments or questions about this game um, or anything in general, just uh, leave it down in the comment section below. I'll do my best to answer them as quick as possible. If you've enjoyed this video, give it a good old thumbs up. And uh, if you like what I'm doing on this channel, uh, please consider subscribing. I'd really appreciate it and it would let you know whenever I put new videos out uh, so you can see more unboxings, uh, some reviews, some how to plays, and maybe some, even some playthroughs. Um, but until next time, game on my friend.